Hello, best friend, and uh, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the most incredible day. This is the first time you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian, and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every day. So, uh, girl, listen, if you're looking for a new messy best friend, well, honey, look no further, bitch, because you have found me. Um, make sure you get comfortable, grab a snack and a drink. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. I would be so incredibly grateful. I am so grateful because you guys, we hit 59,000 yesterday and you guys have no idea how grateful I am. I've been on YouTube for many years and I feel like I, I, I'm just very grateful. So I just really wanted to take this a second to say thank you to every single <clears throat> person out there for, you know, for just showing so much support. I'm so grateful and thankful. I really don't take it for granted. And um, I really just wanted to say that. So thank you once again for that. Also, I wanted to apologize yesterday, girl. I don't know, my energy I think was so low, but I had the worst migraine that it was like this. I could barely see the light. Um, so wanted to apologize for that. But we are back, girl. So let's get into this tea. So Britney Spears is ex estranged husband like i'm not sure if their divorce has gone through although i'll tell you something i don't know if this is a that's so raven vision but i dreamt the other night and i'm remembering it that they actually got back together so i'm not saying it's gonna happen girl but um after this video there's a lot of speculation about this so um paparazzi randomly found him mm -hmm. And he actually talked about Britney, and they asked him about Britney and her book. So this is what happened. Look. Sarah, how's it going, man? Hey, a question. In Britney's new book, she said that you're a gift from God. How do you feel about that? Uh, that, was, that made me smile. So uh, to be honest, uh, that made me smile. I'm freaking proud of her. And uh, I hope she takes over the world. Amazing. Man. All right, cool, cool. Hey, Sarah, how's it going, man? Hey, a question. In Britney's so they asked him, of course, you know, what does he think about what Britney said in her book, that he's a gift from God? Um, obviously, this book was written before the divorce and it was finalized. So nothing could, you know, she couldn't take anything out if she wanted to. But I also think that, you know, I know a lot of people have a lot of like different opinions about Sam. But at the end of the day, the only opinion and the only kind of thing that matters is what Britney went through and what she felt with Sam. And maybe he, maybe he did mean that maybe he meant for her that he was a gift from God when she was going through so much. So, you know, you can't take that away. Even if you think you know the situation, you just can't, girl, okay? Because the only the only one who knows the situation is this one and Sam. So that's it, girl. But, um, you know, I'm actually, um, I'm pleasantly surprised because, you know, I feel like Sam Asgari... Um, he's definitely, and I've said this before, I definitely think that there is this kind of obsession with wanting to be famous, this obsession with wanting to be the next rock, you know, this, this, he, it's very apparent what he has wanted to do, which was to get famous, to be a recognized actor. Um, there are, you know, obviously some things that I don't understand quite uh, frankly. For example, you know, the day or the day before that her book was coming out, you know, all of a sudden there was um, a magazine, um, a, a, a magazine that he did. I'm trying to find a girl. Um, a magazine that he did. Did he not post the magazine, girl? Oh, no, well, you know what? He kind of looks pretty sexy there, honey. He looks pretty sexy there. I mean, I mean, oh, oh. Oh, and his Asgari is showing, if you know what I mean, girl. Okay. Um, listen, no, I mean, here's the thing about, about Sam. Um, I think that there is, there is, there has to be a lot that goes in with being some, with someone as big as Britney Spears, right? Sam Asgar has always been called out for, you know, for, for allegedly using her, for wanting her money, wanting her popularity so he can get famous, like whatever, right? So I read, you know, a couple comments about Sam Asghari and I, I, I wanna know what you guys think about this because let's say that you are, your hope and dream is to be in the entertainment business, right? And you fall in love with somebody who is already, you know, a huge name in the entertainment business. Wouldn't you want to like, I mean, wouldn't you help your spouse if you were 
already in the entertainment business and they wanted to be and i know i will but of course i know how it looks for the public that obviously the public is going to be like girl he's only using him you know whatever he's only using her but i do think that like i think that it's sort of like let's say justin bieber and hayley bieber right justin bieber he's been there done that with his career hayley bieber is just starting to get you know established in the entertainment business right but justin seems like he doesn't want any part of it so i feel like obviously the name bieber and being associated and married to justin is a great help for Haley to get her name out there right so i think done innocently i don't think there's an issue but because everything was done to britney and all of the heartache all of the horrible horrible treatment that she received obviously fans are going to be a little bit more you know a little bit more cautious with who surrounds her right but, you know, I really actually loved his response, I have to say. I think him saying, I hope she takes over the world. I'm very proud of her. Like, that, honestly, you don't see that a lot in Hollywood, right? You don't really see a lot of people in Hollywood who get divorced, who get separated, that have kind things to say about their spouse. So I think that actually... That actually, you know what? It says a lot. I, I really do think it says a lot. And, you know, people are speculating that they'll get back together. I mean... I think that this is the perfect time, in my opinion, for Britney to be on her own by herself without a companion, without a boyfriend, a, 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 a nothing. Maybe, maybe, you know, a little, a little fun buddy, if you know what I mean. But I think that she, in, I mean, in my opinion, I think she needs this time to really find herself, not be responsible to be a certain way for somebody else or to be, you know, what somebody wants you to be. You know, I feel like she needs to just be herself. She needs to find herself. She needs to come come into to get to know herself. You know, before the conservatorship, she was fun. She dated. She had a good time. She, you know, obviously she was going through a lot because of the breakup with Justin, but at least she was free. And for so many years, she wasn't. Everything down to her food was calculated. Her going to the bathroom, everything, right? So I think it's amazing that she'll take this time by herself. But I also feel like I really want her to fall in love and 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 feel love. Because if you know Brittany, you know that that is all that she wants. So you never know. They might get back together after some time. But, you know, for now, I think what he said in this paparazzi video that probably he called himself in my opinion um i thought it was very respectful and i actually really i admire that a lot um because usually like i said hollywood or any other you know couples they they're not very nice to each other so this was very refreshing to see um but anyways girl have you read this book let me know in the comments below um I think that there has to be some kind of like sequel to this book. I mean, there's just so much information. It's so fast paced. It's so full of of secrets. I mean, you think you know Britney. It's like the MTV Diary thing. You know, you think you know, but you have no idea. It literally is like that. You literally think you know, but you really have no idea, girl, because what Britney has gone through is insane. And And like Sam or not, I think that Sam... There's one part in the book where she talks about when she called the court and when she was talking to the judge, that fame, I mean, that's how a lot of us found out actually really what's going on, right? And she talks to the judge and she says in the book that Sam was there supporting her, holding her hand, you know, keeping her calm. And I think that in many moments and many times that she felt defeated or sad or alone, I do think that having Sam there was, you know, it seems to me that it was needed for Britney. So for that, I'm grateful. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below of his response. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, Tomorrow is Friday, girl. What are we doing? What are we doing on Friday, bitch? I'll tell you what I'm doing. Nothing, bitch. Nothing. Because I'm still hungover from the weekend before, girl. Okay. Um, I, you know, I can't drink like I used to, bitch. I can, I'll go from Sebastian to Snooki in 2.5 seconds, girl. And I'm not, I, I'm not about that life anymore, okay? I am a respectful mother, okay, bitch? No, but for real, it's just, I can't, I can't. I'm like, it's like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. it is Thursday, five days later. And I'm still like, girl, where am I? You know what I mean? Uh -uh, I'm not doing that shit again. Anyways, I love you all very much. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.